The response to these fires uh, that has been led by state agencies, because that's the way this is done, has been exemplary. I want children going up in Australia to feel positive about the future. And I think it's important that we give them that confidence that they will not only have a wonderful country and pristine environment to live in, but they'll also have an economy that they can live in as well. And so I would, I think we've got a caution against raising the anxieties of children in our country. If you vote Liberal and National, you'll get me as Prime Minister for the next three years. I said that I was going to burn for you, and I am, every single day. to make sure that our kids understand the facts but they also have the context and the perspective and that we do not create an anxiety amongst children in how we talk about and deal with these very real issues. How good is Australia? I just see that as their issue, well, not yeah. mine. How good is this? Welcome to the future of Sydney. I really, it doesn't really fuss me. I, I, I tend to just let these things go off. I've just learned not to care. Um, and I really don't that much. <laughs> the response that has been provided to these fires and led by our state governments has been absolutely extraordinary. People talk about this being something you can just do. I mean, we, we required the authority of their Governor General and that we received very clear legal advice before taking the step. I think voters do have a clear choice and can have confidence that the Prime Minister they elect is the Prime Minister they'll have for the next three years. I accept that there's a, there's a difference between the emissions reduction target that we're putting forward at this election, which doesn't choose between the economy and environment, it chooses both, and what the Labor Party is proposing, which is 45 percent. When you go to our actions and our achievements, we have been taking action on climate change, we've been getting action on climate change, we are meeting our targets, and we are drawing investment into renewable energy in this country at a rate that has never been seen before. But here we are. Thank you, Bill Shorten.